Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Hope you enjoyed um, Taylor's last competition vlog. We apologize as usual for the lack of consistency on our part lately, but I hope you can appreciate that it is very, very cold in their training facility right now. So when we get in there, we just want to focus on getting right into our practice not and getting right out of our practice <laughs> and getting right out of our practice exactly it is probably the title of this vlog that brought you here with us today so let us get right into explaining ourselves we're having an intervention with taylor and his caffeine pill consumption so actually now that i think about it four years ago we filmed our first vlog in this exact parking lot we are at the london travel clinic at the time we were getting our yellow fever immunization because we were about to head to um, africa and now we are here getting a covid test not because we think we have covid but we need it for travel purposes because drum roll give me a drum roll this isn't a joke <laughs> <laughs> um we are getting a traveler's covid test because we are relocating to california for the foreseeable future there i said it it's out i'd say our rough plan is two months right now we don't have a return ticket because we just want to keep an eye on how things are progressing here. Um, as of right now, the first outdoor meet here um, in Ontario, at least, is looking to be like the end of May. That's the bottom line in all this. Um, we are leaving because we know at this point what we need is the competition opportunities. We've grinded. We've put the work in. Now it's time for us to try and get these results that will qualify us for the games. And unfortunately, that means making this huge move that, you know, um, we're fortunate to be able to do. But at the same time, it's not necessarily something that, I mean, like, we're, we're happy that we're doing it and we're happy that we're able to do it. But at the same time, like, is it ideal? No. Like, we're going to be away from our coaches for a really long time. It's kind of scary traveling in these strange times. It feels a little bit reckless, but um, we haven't worked all these years and dedicated so much time, effort, money, energy, um, to just sit around and wait for our chance. Um, we gotta make it happen. So we are going to be training in Santa Barbara, California. Um, there's already like two prospective decathlons for Taylor. Um, he won't be doing both of them, but he can choose one of the two. Um, and for me, like, I think I've found like four meets down there now so I'm just really excited that we kind of have like a light at the end of the tunnel like competitions are so great because they give you something to work towards in training it's not just like the thrill of competing on that day it's like working up to that we haven't had that in so long obviously so it's just like just kind of starts to feel like groundhog day every day because it's just always the same and you know you're not really working towards anything so I'm just looking forward um getting back into it all right should we get in there and try and pass the most important test of our lives head back <laughs> that's it that's it that's all all right we'll talk to you soon all right test is completed um glad that's over with that was the last like major piece of the puzzle i feel like just like from a prep standpoint of this trip obviously a lot has been involved um you know any athlete knows like how much goes into planning a training camp in a normal year so i keep saying there's traveling there's traveling during a pandemic and then there's traveling during a pandemic with poles not a good time but i will feel relieved once we are there once we are sitting in our airbnb and i know for sure that this was all worth it yep so I just want to take time at the start of this video um, to thank our sponsor, Canadian Tire Hyde Park, um, for giving us the opportunity to actually do this and um, allowing us to kind of chase our dreams and kind of go after that Olympic standard. Um, so yeah, thanks again for everything. Yeah, a lot of you were probably wondering, what? How are you guys affording to do this? And we are very, very fortunate to have the support that we do from Canadian Tire Hard Park here in London. Obviously, as two unfunded athletes um, who aren't working right now, 
this would not have been in the cards um, without the generosity of Canadian Tire Hyde Park. So we are just so endlessly grateful and can't wait to rep, can't wait to make them proud and get the job done. Oh yeah, we leave on Sunday if you don't know. If <laughs> we did actually say yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving. It's Thursday and we're leaving on Sunday at 6.30 a.m. <laughs> out of Toronto, which means we're leaving London at like 2 a.m. And it's just really not going to be a good time, but we're just going to think positive thoughts, hope for the best, really hope for a smooth travel day. So today, Taylor is hurdling. I am jumping, and we're just going to try to get strong practice in. This is our second last day in the facility, and um, you know, just make the most of it. So all warmed up, ready to go. So the workout is maybe something over one or something over two, but I don't know what the first part is, but the second and third part is um, four over four hurdles. And then in between the first hurdle and second hurdle, they're out five, five steps. So five steps, three stride, three thighs, three stride. We're getting started. Okay, a little bit of a change of plans. I always struggle with doing five strides in between a hurdle in a sprint workout, so we just switched it back to regular three strides. So just four times four hurdles, regular spacing. This is all done. Um, so we switched it to three times four hurdles just because my recovery for the day hasn't been the greatest. So um, I'm sitting at 55%. So some of my numbers are pretty low. Like that's the baseline. So yeah. And we still have to lift after this and I have a harder workout tomorrow. So we just thought about like just keeping it easy today. Um, worked on trying to stay like forward and trying to have a really quick trail. Cause that was the one thing that really messed me up in Toronto was just like a really slow trail and it was just going everywhere. So it's good that had some good runs. So yeah, we're going to go home and lift. Um, and then yeah, we're going to have a good Mexican dinner. So, good training day, happy with it. Tomorrow, care has speed endurance. I have some runs on the curved treadmill to run for a little bit longer. So yeah, things are coming along. So yeah, this was quite a long video. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. 
And yeah, hope you guys have a good one and we will see you in California. <laughs>